Welcome to Celebrity Grave Hunting. Today's tip, bring boots. Welcome to Celebrity Grave Hunting. I am your host, Ryan. I am so, so, so excited that you decided to come along with me on another adventure today. The weather is beautiful. Let's go on a hunt. But bring those boots. We've had some periods of snow. We've had inclement weather. Cemeteries, again, are just big fields. There can be mud. I'm not promising anything, but it's better to be prepared and not needed than needed and not be prepared, right? So, we are on our way to Towson, Maryland. Towson is a suburb of Baltimore. Say it's about 25 miles approximately north of Baltimore, if you're familiar with the layout of the state. Who are we visiting today? We are visiting Divine. Now, who is Divine? Well, Divine is Harris Glenn Milstead, an actor, singer, performer, drag queen. The mother of all drag queens, well, not literally, but was Divine the first drag queen? No, but I do say with utmost confidence that Divine is the first mega drag queen that just seemed to be worldwide, a worldwide phenomenon, really, uh, depending on who you ask. Um, associated with independent films of the 1970s, and he worked often with director John Waters. Born October 19th, 1945, the only child of a socially upclass conservative family, uh, bullied often in school for his heavy weight and uh, his perceived effeminacy. Uh, so, bullies never change, huh? At age 17, his parents sent him to a psychiatrist, and he first became aware of his attraction to men during this period. After school, he worked in hair salons, uh, becoming very good with the popular beehive hairdo of the times. In his free time, he began hosting parties, uh, lavish parties, and uh, he began dressing in drag. In the mid-60s, he began a lifelong friendship with John Waters whom John described as the most beautiful woman in the world, almost. After years of making low-budget films with the intent to offend, they achieved mainstream notoriety with the movie Pink Flamingos in 1972. Divine, though, performed some of the filthiest acts imaginable on screen. He was often more quiet and reserved in his private life only dressing in drag when working. He was not a transvestite. In many of the films that he appeared in, he would often act as well out of his drag persona, sometimes cleverly split-screen together with himself. The mid-1970s saw Divine becoming a stage performer, both in scripted and unscripted performances. Later in the decade, he began a recording career during the disco era. The 1980s saw Divine perform his show for audiences all throughout the world, ultimately finding his greatest success in the film Hairspray, which came out in 1988. Alas, a mere three weeks after the release of Hairspray, Divine passed away at the age of 42 in his sleep of heart failure, March 7th, 1988. So we are going to pay our respects to him. Divine, legend in life, not forgotten in death. The cemetery where Divine is buried 
is literally in the center of Towson. And I mean, not just geographically in the center of Towson, but center city. Uh, right next to a bunch of businesses and a giant, giant shopping center. So um, I've actually been pushing this off during the, uh, during the holiday season and waited till all that madness died down because honestly, uh, if you can imagine as a grave hunter, uh, pardon the expression, I am not that much of a fan of the living. Now, when you enter the cemetery, if you can imagine, it's a V. You go in, then you have to do this really, uh, I'm, it's, it's a really far out angle of a turn. And then there's a little parking section right there. Park your car right there. Divine is buried nearby. We are here at Prospect Hill Park Cemetery right in the middle of Towson, Maryland. Big old shopping center right over there. So when you come in the cemetery and it takes you down that wicked little tight corner, there's kind of a place to park. And if you walk this way, I don't know if you could tell we have these white headstones that say Grayson. Come down the ways here. Mind your step. Fortunately, it's not muddy, but it, the ground is a little soft. So, watch your step. Harris Glen Milstead. Divine. October 19, 1945 to March 7, 1988. Our loving son. Lots of fans come and leave little uh, mementos. Legend in life, not forgotten in death. Please like and subscribe. That way you won't miss out on our next adventure.